Hi, I'm Larry Becker, and this time we're focused on ISO. Focused is here because the first step to being a better photographer is understanding your camera. The short definition of ISO or ISO is how sensitive your camera's sensor is to light. Back in the days of film photography, you'd pick a film based on the light in the environment where you plan to shoot. There's been quite an evolution in the description of film sensitivity to light with several systems beginning in the late 1800s. But if we only go back to the 1970s and 1980s, a time which many of us still remember, Most of us knew that 100 and 200 speed film was for pretty bright light situations and 400 speed film was for indoors. And back then, I remember we called those numbers ASA. These days, the sensitivity numbers are called ISO and generally you can expect a modern camera to have a sensitivity range from around 100 to around ISO 6400 or more. With many modern cameras, not all but many, the lowest ISO setting, the least sensitive to light is ISO 100. You'd use that out here in bright sunshine. Double that number to ISO 200 and your camera sensor becomes twice as sensitive to light. You might use that here in the shade. Double the ISO again to ISO 400 and the sensitivity is twice again. You might use that as a starting point here indoors. Each doubled increase in light sensitivity is called a stop of light. And while some cameras have settings which are partial stops, for the most part, ISO measurements go to 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600, 30. An important thing to note is that as your ISO numbers increase, the amount of graininess, and we call this visual noise, is also going to increase. Depending on your camera, it might not be noticeable until you get above ISO 3200. And with some high-end cameras with modern full-frame sensors, you might get usable images at ISO 25,600 or ISO 51,200. But if you saw our sensor-sized focused video, you already know that, generally speaking, you can expect more image noise with smaller sensors. So the noise from ISO 3200 on one camera might be noticeably different from ISO 3200 on a different camera. So ISO numbers are strictly sensitivity numbers. They don't actually indicate quality. I've heard the terms native, standard, boosted, and expanded ISO. What does that mean? Well, they're all related. Native ISO is the setting with the best signal to noise ratio. It's actually gonna be where the sensor signal needs the least amount of adjustment to deliver the image. So theoretically, it also has the least image noise. Then by amplifying the signal a little or a lot, you get what most of us call the standard ISO range. Usually the more amplified the setting, the more noise you're gonna see. Then boosted or expanded usually means even more amplified. By definition, numbers below the standard ISO range could also be considered expanded ISO settings. For the record, some cameras have lower ISO numbers than 100, and some have higher ISO numbers than 25,600, but neither of these ISO settings are too common, and I've only seen them on enthusiast and high-end pro cameras. One feature I've seen on some newer cameras, and this is getting more common, is a setting called Auto ISO. With that turned on, the camera picks the ISO setting that it thinks will work best based on all the other settings, like aperture and shutter speed. That wraps it up for this episode of Focused. Focused is made possible thanks to B&H Photo, Kelby One, and these nice people. If you have questions for Focused, leave them in the comments below. We really do read them all. And be sure to subscribe because we don't want you to miss a single episode. We will see you next time.